Well, with options, it's about mispricing and its impact on probability, risk, and reward. Just like that $2 lottery ticket, you make money when something is mispriced. With options, just like with those other businesses, the thing that is distorted is probability. Specifically, it's the probability that a stock is going to make a certain size move within a certain time frame. That probability mispricing is reflected in the risk and reward of the trade. And risk and reward is determined by the option price. I want to use another game of chance to illustrate this point, and by the way, this game could just as easily be a certain type of option trade. Now here are the payoffs of the game. When you win, you win four. When you lose, you only lose one. Risk and reward are very good, but let's add a crucial ingredient. Your odds of winning are 10%. So one time in 10, you win four and nine times in 10, you lose one. Well, if we play that game 10 times, we have the following result. One win of four equals plus four. Nine losses of one equals minus nine for a net loss of five. No rational player is going to play this game. That's because the expected profit loss is minus 0.5. That's the average profit loss for every game. And you get that by taking the net loss divided by the number of times you play. Rational participants only play if there are fair odds. Therefore, with a reward of 4 and a risk of 1, what do the probabilities have to be for the odds to be fair? For the odds to be fair in a game, with a reward of plus four and a risk of minus one, the odds of winning have to be 20%, not that 10%. They have to be 20%. The odds of losing have to be 80%. Now, here's the other thing. If they're better than that, then the other participant won't play, unless they're going to Vegas or playing the lottery. That leads to the following important implication. Risk and reward can be used to determine the fair odds of the game. Similarly, the price of an option with its own risk and reward characteristics can be used to determine the probability assessments of the market participants. Risk and reward tell us what traders think the fair odds or probability of a move are. When options are mispriced, it tells us that the option traders have a distorted sense of probability. Now that's important. I'm going to say it again. When options are mispriced, it tells us that the option traders have a distorted sense of probability. Overpriced options means traders are overestimating the likelihood of a certain size move over a certain time period. Underpriced options means traders are underestimating the likelihood of a certain size move over a certain period of time. So how do we know the probability assessment is distorted? Well, we know that we can determine expected probabilities from risk and reward. We showed how that was easy using a game of chance. Option pricing models, and this is important, option pricing models allow us to determine what those expected probabilities are for any option trade imaginable. We can then compare these results to what has actually happened in the market to see if the expected probability matches reality. Now there are a few things to remember. First, always remember your edge in a speculation occurs when something is mispriced. With options, price equals probability. Therefore, our edge occurs when we find that the probability assumption does not match reality. Then we know that other traders have a distorted sense of probability. That means the options are mispriced.